So, we're working on um, a couple of new concepts. Do you have one idea or do you have several ideas? We try and sort of you know, have a few things going at uh, once so we can sort of go back and forth. Um, and the show that we're, <clears throat> we've been working on is called The Killer Bees. Um, what is the concept? Who are the characters? What is the tone of the series? What, what does it all mean? And most importantly, why would anybody watch it? It's basically about this woman who's, you know, in her early 30s, late 20s, that sort of thing. And um, just trying to find the right guy, you know? And, and uh, sort of finds herself moving from guy to guy to guy. And, you know, not that she's interested in, in just sleeping with him, you know, nothing like that, but she's just, you know, sort of moving through life and she's got a host of friends that are sort of her moral compass in an odd kind of way. Before you write a part of the series, whether it's the pilot or, or an, at least the pilot in short form, you sort of have an idea as to what the series is going to be about, but when you've actually written the pilot, you can step back and say, well, this is what it's about, and you can you can sell it much better. So that's the show that uh, that we're working on, and uh, she's got a few um, interesting friends. Do you want this cheese? Sure, thanks. You can always go get another one. If you're not going to eat that cheese right I'm, now... I'm going to eat it in like two seconds. I will eat that cheese if you don't eat it. You know that. I'm like a scavenger yeah, when it I know. comes to food. Uh, what program do I use to write with again? So basically when we come up with a new idea, um, we put it in the form of a pitch doc. Okay, here we go. Pitch document for... Killer our... bees. I think I'm going to be celibate. <laughs> I do! <laughs> I do. I had this conversation with a friend of mine, and he has decided that he's going you know to know the difference no... between celibate and celebrate, right? <laughs> yes, but we had we were chatting a while back, and he has decided that he's going to be celibate. And I was like, "Why?" And then he told me, and he just you know, and I just it sounds really. I I think I'm going to try it for a while. All right, that means no sex. Norm could not be celibate. If in fact, if Norm and I had a competition to see who could last longer. I put money down. I put like a thousand dollars down that he couldn't last twenty four hours. <laughs> so this is anyway, whatever Allison says about me when it comes to celibacy is is bullshit. I just hope you know that. Probably that would be his his limit with respect to going without sex. I, on the other hand, can go for years. Years. No problem whatsoever. I wish her well. I really do. I think Allison's got a good shot at celibacy. I think the more you get to know her, the better her chances. <laughs> Sometimes it's not by choice. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? I'm actually being serious, but I think I'm, uh, I'm going to try it for a few months. <clears throat> now, this isn't some kind of a... <laughs> <laughs> this isn't some kind of a, an on-camera, I, Allison Graham, challenge any guy out there watching this <laughs> to break my celibacy pledge. No, it's not. Call 1-800-SLEEP-WITH-ALLISON. <laughs> now. <laughs> now. What we do is we just sort of try and, and outline the show so that if, you know, a producer or a director wanted to take a look at the stuff that we're working on, then they can have this document, which is about, you know, seven or eight pages, that just talks about what the show is about and, and the characters and the interaction and who it would appeal to. So the pitch document is a very important part of the process and um, we've also talked before about elevator pitches. Well, you remember that from from episode 5. Now, we should write a series about somebody who's trying to be celibate. Has somebody done that before? I don't know. That actually might be an interesting idea. Not based on, be like, well, uh, has decided, made it, made a decision, not based on me. Norm doesn't think that I would last very long. Thinks that I've got sex on my mind all the time, which I don't. It's just that I work with him. I'm enjoying the process. I know uh, Allison's enjoying the process. And of course, uh, notice I said process for me and process for her. That's because she's always trying to be difficult. And he has sex on his mind all the time, probably because he's getting it, I guess, he says. I don't really know. I've yet to even meet his girlfriend. I think she's just like a fabrication. I'd like to say that I've, uh, I've experienced quite a bit.